to grow and expand the capabilities of the port infrastructure is his goal. He's a very, very busy man and a man with a lot of dedication, determination and destination. It's indeed a pride, prestige and privilege and rather an honor for me and I on behalf of Marine Vis TV would like to wholeheartedly welcome Dr. Rashid Ali, the Secretary General of Hamriya Free Zone. Hello and welcome to Quarter Deck. Hi, thanks for having me in your program. Uh, so when was the Hamriya Free Zone Authority formed and what instigated its formation? Actually, it was part of His Highness vision, uh, Dr. Sheikh Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi, the ruler of Sharjah and the Supreme Council of UAE. Uh, it was back in 1995, August precisely. He has issued an Amiri decree. It was part of his vision to create an industrial hub and put Sharjah in the international business hub uh, as an industrial uh, state. Well, the main concept of uh, setting up the free zone was to boost the industrial scenario, of rather, rather the marine scenario, right. so that people come in freely and invest and do business in Sharjah. Right. Actually, when did it all uh, start and how do you support the activities? Uh, nowadays, uh, business people are looking for two things, to come to any place, the integration and value added. And this is our theme in the Hamriya Free Zone. This is how we differentiate ourselves from others. That in Hamriya Free Zone, we believe in both terms. We believe the integration among the industries, and we believe in the, uh, the value added. And Hamriya Free Zone is strategically located. There is no question about this. It's one, one of the first ports you receive from the Arabian Gulf. Uh, so most of the international uh, marine players would love to have a base in Hamriya Free Zone where they believe that the upstream, the middle stream, and the downstream industries are all un under one umbrella. Beside the incentives which the Free Zone is offering, that really has encouraged the international community to seriously consider the Hamriya Free Zone. And because of that, we have created a theme called the, the, the uh, Hamriya Maritime City. Well, it's Dubai, 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 Dubai. People are speaking about Dubai. Wherever you go, it's Dubai only. Mm -hmm. Moreover, it's coming up into a huge and massive maritime hub. Mm -hmm. Probably Singapore and Hong Kong would be overtaken by Dubai. Could be, or they will rather with a massive pace of uh, expansion going on. Do you have a dream, a desire in a similar face value? Okay. Well, first of all, I'm really proud to be an Emirati, and I'm really proud to have Dubai part of the Emirates, because success to Dubai or Abu Dhabi or Sharjah is success of, of us as Emiratis, and we're really proud of the achievement and where Dubai name has reached. Sharjah, on the other hand, is also reaching, Abu Dhabi is reaching, Fujairah is reaching. Each place, as I said, or each Emirates has got their own uniqueness and their own strength, uh, how to reach. My big dream here is to, to have that integration is happening among the Emirates here in the maritime industry. Because if you have read the latest statistics, it says from now till 2014, all the shipbuilders will be busy building ships. They have requirements up to that year, okay. 2014. So there is enough business for everyone in the world for shipbuilding and ship design. So I'm sure they will, and since the UAE is strategically located, there will be huge, huge requirements from the international community to use the, you know, the, the logistics here, to use the easy going and flexibility of the rules and regulation. So we're really proud of the, the way how we have reached so far. And I'm sure Hamri Free Zone has got that much demand. And really, we're too busy day and night now trying to meet the requirements. Um, when we walked into this office, um, we understand that your team, your staff, they speak 12 different languages. And as a result, it makes it uh, more easy. It makes things very easy. It makes life more easy. Yeah. What's the thing? It's exactly, as I said earlier, it's, I, uh, I believe in communication. And it is one area of communication is when you try or when you speak fluently the, the prospective uh, language. Uh, he will like it and you will like it too. If someone comes from Japan, so, uh, for example, and I, I will come in the Japanese style and I will come in the Japanese language. Right, and I give him the, all the rules, regulation, the leaflets in Japanese language. Okay. Certainly, indeed, he will like that. If, if a gentleman coming from Pakistan, for example, with the Urdu, if someone's coming from Australia with the English, so we, we try to respect, you know, the others the best we could. And it, uh, believe me, we, we feel that it is really a, a successful uh, thing to do. When people walk in and they say, you know, they have their whatever information they're looking for is uh, in, in their own uh, Tang language. Uh, uh, so they, they feel good about it. Well, uh, the family has a very important role to play in several people's success of life. Uh, what is your family's role in your success? Well, 100% I uh, appreciate your question and I really uh, agree with you. 
that the family contributing heavily to my success, my, either it's my parents or my wife. Uh, I think the right success in life when you have the two things together, uh, the material and the spiritual or the family, which is either your personal and your professional life. And this wouldn't happen if you don't have uh, the right balance in your life. So if you're balanced enough, then you can really enjoy both. You could be really, really successful with material, with money, and you can be successful back home with your family, with your spouse, with your kids, your children. If you lose one of the two, I don't uh, think it's a success, a success to me. If you only have a family life and you don't have a professional life, it's not a success. If you have only professional life, you don't have a family life, it's not a success. So the right success when you have the two things together and you enjoy both of them and you give the quality time to both. And this is the catch here. And I said quality time because there's a, a difference between uh, a man who sits in the, in the house for five, six hours and who does not communicate with his kids or his wife. It's not a time. It's not a quality time. But even if he sits for half an hour with communication, that is a quality time. So just like an, I always keep uh, telling my student that try to visualize it. it we human, just like, sorry for this, but just to try to visualize, just like the PC. The PC consists of two, two parts. The hard part of it, which is the, you know, the scanner, the uh -huh. CUP, the, the, the uh, you know, the keyboard, the printer, and consists of the heart of it, which is the uh, unseen, which is the soft part. And you cannot have, even you're operating in NASA or you're operating in the Hamriya Free Zone, you cannot abo uh, operate a PC uh, in isolation of, of either one. You have to have both them together. So the human also, we are built of two things together. We need the hard skills and we need the soft skills. If we have the hard skills, which is you know the time management, project management, strategic thinking, out of the box thinking, whatsoever we call it in training and those development programs, you still have to have that. I call it a wake up calls or the call within each one of us, uh, and this is the balance. Marine Biz TV. Uh, this is the world's first global maritime television channel. As uh, the marine industry, they have to reach a lot of people. They have to either depend on an exhibition or the print medium. Probably the visual media was absent, but today it's come up and it's uh, promoted by Aris Marine, uh, UAE's uh, leading ship designer and consultancy firm here. So as a man with a lot of experience and who's seen the world and with a lot of management thoughts and skill and a go-getter, your opinion on marine business television uh, for the marine industry as a whole? Well, first of all, my best wishes for the uh, marine TV channel. I think it's one of its kind, one of its unique uh, projects. Or honestly, I have experienced this year. And in business life, one thing I have really learned, that the right start is halfway through success. Yeah. And I was uh, really honored to be part of the inauguration uh, function in Dubai. And it was very successful. And the amount of people turned on that function that night, it tells the importance of this channel. As they say, seeing is believing. I think that night, uh, uh, to me, more than 500 people turned out yeah. on that night. So I'm sure uh, all of them. Uh, everything starts with, with, with professionalism. Everything starts with uh, market research and marketing research. I, I think there's they, a success. And uh, the energy behind and the, the, the skills behind the, 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 your channel and the people who are working there, I could feel it on that day that all of them are so geared up, so excited, and they really want to do something different. And this is uh, making uh, the, the, the success story. I think it's the beginning now. Uh, in the world now, there are more than 15 million decision makers. Absolutely. I'm sure they'll be more excited to, 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 to see your uh, channel because it's very uh, specialized uh, in the information uh, she's broadcasting to the community. And worldwide now, the, it's one of the communication now is to go and look into the TV. Because again, back to square one, we all are busy. We don't have that much time to read sometimes through the newspaper or the, those specialized magazines. So, but seeing through the TV uh, could communicate the message uh, quicker and faster. And I think this is uh, what your executive uh, and the senior management people are really working uh, hard on. And I have seen it, honestly speaking. I have seen it here. Uh, I mean, we're having, uh, you're having me thanks on this program and having other executives from this part of the world. So it will be much easier for us to, to send our message across and also to hear the viewers uh, from outside. So my best wishes again for you. Thank you very much, sir. The pleasure. Um, you know, uh, Dr. Rashid Al-Lim is a very busy man. We're not okay. saying it just for the 
sake of saying it that he's very busy, to be very honest, he's such a busy man. And in spite of this busy, busy schedule, we know you're tied up totally and giving, allotting some time to share your views. Uh, thank you very thank much, you sir.